Hello everyone, welcome to AJ's One in a Trillion channel and today we're doing Science Saturdays with my baby boy, Pistol Paris, and aka Lego Man Paris. And what? What you trying to say? And shout out to Paris Extreme because that's my channel. I'm going to be changing it soon to Paris uh, Lego, uh, Lego, Lego Man Paris. So just give me a shout out to my channel and subscribe. And like the video. Alright, y'all do as he say, I guess. I don't know what that was about, but let's get into this video about Science Saturdays. We, I bought him this kit for Christmas. It's um, sensational um, science tricks. So, we're only going to do a couple of them today, but we have a whole book of things to um, discover. So, we're going to start off simple today um, with some simple tricks so we picked about four of them today so our first trick would be called ice lift so our first trick is ice lift but this is our um this is his kit we're not going to use half of this stuff today we're just going to need a few items because we're only doing four simple tricks for today so um first trick like you said is ice lift so it says supplies needed a piece of string um scissors ice cubes napkins and small plates so we got our napkins here and we got we have our ice cubes um don't tell people what that is we're gonna use that that's part of the trick but uh where are the cubes all right so we have our supplies and he has his magical dust here so we have our ice so let's start Place a fresh ice cube on a napkin. Come on, put. Yeah. All right. And, all right, so we got that. The ice cube is on a napkin. Cut a piece of twine or string about 12 inches long. So we have that. Ask a spectator to try and pick up the ice cube using the string. Let me see. Um. Uh, Okay, I can't pick up the ice using the string. Um, I can't pick up this ice using this string. Let's see if you guys can even see this ice up in here. All right. All right, so yeah, that doesn't work. So now you'll try. Um, carefully lay, some, lay a piece of string across the top of the ice cube. Okay. All right, so you laid it across there. Mm-hmm. Okay, now that you've laid it across the piece of ice. Hold on, let me see. Sh here, show them. All right, so I couldn't pick up this ice cube with this string. I could not do it. I tried to do it and there was no it, luck. So now difference. you lay it there. Okay. And you sprinkle your little magic dust all over it. Sprinkle your magic dust on it. Sprinkle, grab, no. Use your hands to grab it and sprinkle Sprinkle. No, look, look, here. Okay. All right, sprinkle that and say abracadabra. Abracadabra, abracadabra, abracadabra. Put it on the string too, here. Yeah. All right, sprinkle that on Pixie there. Pixie dust. Yep, pixie dust. All right. So now you'll um, let that sit for about a minute or two. And while that sits, I'm going to perform my magic trick. So you see he sprinkled his magic dust, abracadabra, abracadabra. So now I'm going to perform my trick while we wait on his. So we have here, we have a magic beaker. And we have a rope. All right, Paris, check out this magic beaker. There's nothing in it. It's just all nothing in it, just darkness. How about you guys take a look? There's nothing in it. Pull it upside down. All right. There's nothing and... in it. Guys, you take a look. Yeah, there's nothing in it. All right, now you check you out my rope. To... And... How are you supposed to do this? Huh? There's nothing wrong with the rope. There's nothing wrong with the rope. 
All right, so now we have that. Now I'm going to place this. You put this rope in there and try to pull it out. You put this rope in there and try to pull it out. Okay. Okay, okay. Try to hold it upside down and pull it out. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, so now here, hold this for me. And you sure the rope is all good? Yeah. All right. Now, I have my magic beaker and my rope. And let's see. Ooh, ooh. One, two. Let's see. Let's get it all the way in there. See? All right. Hold on. I didn't push it. Did I push it in there? Good. Okay. Hold on. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Now let's get this. Okay, can I try? Can I try? Hold it. No, just hold it. Okay, just hold it. No, you, you messing up my magic trick. Now let me put this back in there. Okay. No. So cool. This is not even editing. Ah, uh, <laughs> I did it. My magic trick worked. Now let's check yours out. Let's zoom in. Now you pick it up. Not, no, not like uh -huh. that. You pull the string and see if you can pick the ice up. Oh, I did. Oh. It almost worked. Well, it I moved work. it. I moved it. All right. Now it's my turn to try your magic trick since yours was an epic fail. <laughs> let, me, let me try it now. Now all magic tricks work now. They do when you do them right. Oh, the thing like Let me good. see. So I'm gonna do it. Ooh, she has two ice cubes though. And I'm gonna put my magic dust all, I'm gonna just put it all on here on the string. And. Make sure it doesn't drip off the string. It's fine. And then, this one is stuck by two. Oh well, it's fine. It'll still work. Here. That's a lot of magic dust. I'm putting my magic dust on here. And the I'm going to try to get it to mine. work. Yeah. Since he didn't do it. Now after this, we should be waiting about another minute. See if hers works. Maybe we waited too long. Let's see. We never really do videos together, so. Let's see if this works, guys. It might. It might. It might not. We'll find out soon, won't we? Everybody watching, make sure you like <laughs> and subscribe right now. <laughs> Just smash that like button. All right. Let's see. I'm going to let that sit for a second. I don't think our string is thick enough, so I think that's why our magic trick isn't working. Oh, it almost worked. I didn't mean to even put yeah, that Yeah, it's yet. working a little bit, but not that much. I don't think it's because of the string. Aww, oh, it's, it's because, because it's two. No, it's because there's two on it. Nope. Mine's moved at least, like, over. It tipped over, so. Oh, I can move it just a very... Why are you doing that? It tastes like salt. <laughs> Y'all got me. My magic trick didn't work. Is Ice lift did not work. And it's supposed to work like this. This is why it works, if it had to work. The magic dust does all the work for you. You ever notice how people put salt on the street after it snows? That's because salt can melt ice. Basically, salt reacts with ice and causes freezing point depression. This depression helps to lower the freezing point of the ice, turning it back into water. In this experiment, there isn't enough salt to melt the whole ice cube. But once the top of the ice cube melts, the rest of the ice cube helps the top of the cube refreeze. When the top refreezes, the string gets it's frozen back into the ice as well so we're pulling it um we're pulling it apart way too early so we're gonna leave that let's yeah. hope let's see i don't know i think we're taking it off too fast three two one 
we were taking it off way too fast so that's why our experiment didn't work so maybe we'll try it one more time at the end maybe or now actually let's get it going let's see i mean all the other paper are all wet so. since we messed up the magic dust already might as well just here let's Let's try it one more time. <laughs> they say third time is the charm. Let's Sometimes see. Sometimes they say first time is the charm. Sometimes. <laughs> That's so funny. Let's see. We got our ice cube. Ooh, right on the magic dust. Just, and just roll it in the magic dust. Just roll. No, we don't want to roll it in the magic dust. Okay. All right, let's see. Nothing. I on feel the like ice. I need to make this flat because it's... There's nothing on the ice cube. Hard. All right. We're going to forget all that magic dust stuff. We're going to do this with the good old-fashioned salt shaker, salt shaker, salt shaker. You told them the secret ingredient. I did. Well, it's not. Ooh, let's that, see. that one's let's covered. Let's see. Let's see. And it's going do, down quick. All right, we're going to leave that alone. And this then we'll faster. try to pull it later. This should be like a second faster because we put way more than one. All right. We do. So we did two of our four tricks. Um, our second trick was the clinging beaker. So that worked, and I'm going to tell you why it worked. The rope by itself can easily be remo removed from the beaker, but not when the ball is in the way. So when the beaker is upside down, pulling on the rope uses the friction between the rope ball and inside of the beaker to wedge the ball tightly into the neck of the beaker. Then when you let the beaker hang on the rope, gravity takes over, continuing to provide that pulling force. So I, while he was being distracted looking at this rope here, I put my little magic ball, which is just a basic ball. I put my ball in here. And once this gets put inside of there, this mixed with the gravity and friction caused the rope to stick in there. Hey, that's what happened. <laughs> Got <that> you. <laughs> Voila, magic. Mommy knows magic. All right. Uh, cool. Now the next trick is mine. All right, and so now this third trick is you gotta flip through the pages. Sticky books. Now, so let's find out. This third trick told us to get told us to get two hardback paper books or whatever. Let's see. Let's check on this. It's been a minute, right? Wait, hold on. Look. Nope. Don't look. Don't pull it because it ain't ready yet. We're gonna wait longer. We're going to wait a little bit, just a little bit longer. I think that if we just pour the salt directly onto the um, string and then put the string onto that, then it'll work. I don't know. That sounds like a good idea. That but trick we is don't not know. Working. We don't know. That's we don't know. Good. So let's, let's try to dry our table off a little bit since we're dealing with these books that I bought you. Don't try All this right. at home. Some, some Here. Home. So you, we're supposed to try to you know we can pull these books apart okay so we can pull them apart okay. and you're supposed to tell your audience you're gonna just shuffle your books we're gonna shuffle the books okay go ahead so let me add, like a deck of cards let me try shuffling because i'm not that good at shuffling let's see so, go ahead let's see if it works for me because i'm not good at shuffling three two one. Oh man one last try. One last try, and then my mom's going to shuffle it, and then we're going to try it. This is my magic trick anyway. Yours is supposed to be the other one. <clears throat> uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Okay, well, you try come on. This, and now pull it this is my magic trick anyway. Sticky books. So, she here we go. is going to shuffle it for me, and I'm going to try to pull so, it. So, try to pull my books apart. Okay. Wait, hold on. You got to shuffle it first. Here. No, you can't do it yet. They don't stick. You can't pull them apart. Yeah. Right now, I can pull Let's them see. apart, but let her do her magic. 
Now there's supposed to be a magic wand, but. All right. Now you try to pull my books directly. And apart. I'm not faking that I'm not Here. able to pull it. Yeah, I actually can't. <laughs> yeah, I actually can't pull it. That's. <laughs> I'm not playing. We actually can't pull it. I'm strong, though. Ah! All right, I can't pull these apart. Okay, let's find out why this trick works. Oh, gosh. That was hard. It took a lot of muscle. All right, this amazing trick works because of friction. Any object, object that rubs or touches another object experiences friction for example friction is what keeps your feet from slipping on the floor the more pages that you weave together the more friction you create between the books when you try to pull the two books apart the interwoven pages get pushed together harder and this increases increases overall friction the harder you pull the higher the friction and all and the more difficult the pages are to pull apart hmm makes sense to me so Ah, uh, whatever. Like Made me look weak. Anyway. <laughs> All right, Paris, you do your um trick, Power Pinky. This trick oh. is called Power Pinky. Now, what happens is... To, uh, A volunteer is asked to sit in the chair while pressing. So you want me to sit there or you want, to, want me I'll to do it? Here. All right. A person is asked to sit in the chair. Can you sit in my little magical chair? Okay. And... I want you to get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> I can't. Get up. But it's just my pinky. Get up. I actually cannot get up. Lift up. <laughs> yeah, I can't get up. Yeah, that's too hard. Okay, my turn. Let's try. Let me. On uh, her, it might be Here. different because she's you older do it. and she's taller. Oh, uh, excuse me. You don't <laughs> say that about a lady. What did I told you about that? Me too, my God. <laughs> I can't get up. Okay, so that's the power pinky. Let's find out why this trick worked. It worked because, let's see, power pinky. Okay, it doesn't matter how strong you or your assistant are because simple physics allows this trick to work. Every object has a center of gravity, also known as a center of mass, which is where most of an object's mass slash weight is concentrated. In humans, if your center of gravity is not directly over your base of support, your feet, if you are standing or a chair, if you are sitting, you will lose your balance. In order to move from a seated position to a standing position, you must first shift your center of gravity from over the chair to over your feet. To do that, you need to lean forward. But with your pinky or the assistant's forehead, they are unable to lean forward. So this concludes our Science Saturday. And this was amazing. Let's check up on one more thing, though. Let's see. Can I pull it? This yeah, way? go ahead. Pull see? it. You weren't oh. supposed to pull it up like that, but it did freeze over the top of it. But Well, it should have worked, but I think we made it too I long. I don't know. This trick... I think it was too long. No, I think this trick just doesn't work. But anyway. <laughs> we'll come back next Saturday and make more of these videos. Okay. Salient Saturdays with Pistol Paris, a.k.a. Lego Man Paris, a.k.a. Paris Extreme, a.k.a. Which is it now? Paris, a Lego Man Paris. Mate. I already Maybe. said that one. But anyway, uh, thank you for tuning in to AJ's One in a Trillion channel with me and my son Paris that I love so dearly and enjoying this Science Saturday with us. He loves science. This is my science guru, my builder, my creator. So hopefully one day he builds me a house out of brick. Not not no dang on and not sticks. <laughs> and what's the other one? And not sticks. Maybe bricks. Yes, definitely <laughs> bricks. Not no maybe. <laughs> I thought you was gonna be my architect. I wanna be an architect when I grow up. Okay. Or make my own business. Right, true. He's this is yes, this is my creator. But anyway, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to our channels and peace.